Hello friends, Jim here, Science Talk. I have a report here of basically it's an example of animals adapting. And basically this story involves a polar bears. 52 polar bears basically move into a Russian town to eat garbage instead of starving to death. Now, you can set aside, you know, setting aside the issues that polar bears, or, you know, and specifically in this case, polar bears face, the whole issue of humans just encroaching on habitats, you know, making less habitat available for wildlife in general, which is then stressing them out. I, I'm preparing uh, stories, uh, reports on uh, that very topic. So, um... You know, the polar bears, they're losing their ice. They're not being able to find, uh, hunt seals. We no ice, they can't hunt seals. They're forced to swim further and further while swimming in the ocean. Saps their energy even more so than walking around in the air. Not to mention just tiring them out from swimming. You know, so now they're, you know, they're trying to take on walruses. That's uh, a little more difficult. Walruses are large animals. Uh... There was a situation of a, a whale carcass, and the bowhead whale carcass, that washed up somewhere in the Arctic, and there was a whole bunch, practically all the polar bears in the region were dining out on it. For them, for that one event, they were able to get enough energy, and amazingly, they didn't even fight. They were just so hungry, they just were willing to tolerate each other and just eat, eat from the carcass. So here we have 52 polar bears, invading a uh invading quote unquote moving in onto a uh a russian settlement to eat garbage now will the garbage be nutritionally what they need no but they're putting something in their stomach they might be able to get some caloric but not what really not what's needed they need the the fat and the, the meat the blubber and so on from the seals so these 52 polar bears occupied guba which is a, a work settlement in a remote Russian Arctic archipelago. Now, the animals did attack locals. And they ransacked garbage dumps. And they busted into uh, residential buildings. What's the saying? Desperate times, right? Now, I, you know... One of the things that happened in Prudhoe Bay, Prudhoe Bay is a big industrial expanse on the north slope of Alaska, uh, you know, oil, and, uh, you know, polar bears up there. It is not unheard of if some, someone leaves the door open to a building, and there's a polar bear walking down the hallway. It has happened. Because what do you have in those buildings? Well, you got someone making food for the work crew. Hey, let's go to the kitchen. Follow the nose, right? That's what they're doing. So, what's the settlement in question? Belushia Guba is a settlement of about 2,000 people in Russia's remote Novaya Zemlya archipelago. Now, Novaya Zemlya is literally Russian for New Earth. That's what it translates as. And this is uh, located in the Barents uh, Sea. Now, I did a video some time ago about how the, the Barents Sea is becoming... Atlantified, quote unquote, or an Atlantification is taking place, namely that the, the oceanic waters of the Barents Sea is now exhibiting more traits typical for the Atlantic Ocean than for the Arctic Ocean. Traits meaning the you know the parameters, the physical characteristic, temperature, salinity, that kind of stuff. And uh, <clears throat> Novaya Zimlia is uh, located right there in the, in the Barents Sea. So you can go check out the video if you want to, you know, I, I indicated on the map, but we can just go Google it, whatever. Or uh, DuckDuckGo it. I use DuckDuckGo, not Google, in my searches, along with Ecosia.org. Now, this region of the uh, Barents Archipelago region is known for interesting plankton blooms and uh, as well as unfortunately nuclear bomb tests so polar bears are not exactly an uncommon sight they will regularly converge there in the winter time to hunt seals so that is not unheard of 
But when there's less and less sea ice, less and less seals, they're going to resort to other means to survive. And that's basically what's happening. Right? The ice is thinning. So, um, researchers from Moscow's A, uh, A.N. Severtsov Institute of Ecology and Evolution, which is a branch of the Russian Academy of uh, Sciences, basically uh, made these reports. So, you know, the... So that, what's the town doing? Well, they're trying to take uh, uh, measures to uh, protect themselves. Uh, shooting at killing bears is prohibited by the Russian government. That's good. They're already endangered. And uh, so they're trying to scare the bears off with various means. Dogs, honking horns of vehicles, shooting rubber bullets. And the bears are basically saying, mm, that's all you got. Not impressed. So it's really not working. So um, it may come down to that the, the, the really uh, very aggressive bears may have to be quote unquote culled. I hope not, but they're leaving that possibility open. So of course we know about bears um, with the issues they're facing. Right? You know, they're endangered. The estimate of the number of uh, polar bears remaining in the Arctic is uh, anywhere from 22,000 to 33,000, which is a, a number that is in decline. And remember, the average temperature in the Arctic is warming at least twice as fast as the rest of the world. So that's making huge declines in sea ice every year. And of course, this, is, uh, this information has been released by NOAA, National Atmospheric uh, National Oceanic Oceanographic Atmospheric Administration. As sea ice melts, the polar bears have to travel further and work harder to catch their prey. Some do starve to death in the process. Just swimming in open waters was tiring, not to mention the ocean, the waters pulling the heat from their bodies, making them use up their energy reserves that much quicker. So, um, The animals are basically having to find some means to survive, and polar bears are turning to opportunists, looking to find whatever food they can to try and live. So, um, this is something you probably expect to see, not just in uh, Novaya Zimlia, but in other uh, settlements located in the uh, circumpolar north. You know, Churchill, Manitoba is an example that will come to mind. Right? Every year, bears come to Churchill, Manitoba. Northern Alaska, Yukon Territory. So, um, the animals are stressed. That's what this basically comes down to. They are stressed. And they are hurting, their numbers are declining. They'll do what they need to do. I give you time. Hey friends, this is Jim reminding you to subscribe and share my videos. Also, don't forget to click the bell so that you know when I drop a video in. And I'm also asking to for you to please support the work that I do by becoming a patron at patreon.com. Details in the description box below. Thank you for your continued support.